Hello again. I was suspended for a fortnight by YouTube yesterday for hate speech. But following an appeal, they have thankfully changed their mind and let me back on again. I thought it wise to remove in any case the video about which somebody had complained, the one in which I talk about what it means to be British, which is obviously a taboo subject these days. I removed it just in case some other lunatic complains and YouTube take a harsher view next time. <laughs> I want to talk today about perhaps the oddest news item that I have seen in the last year or so. As you know, we in England speak English. In France they speak French, in Japan Japanese, and in Wales many people speak Welsh. These are the native languages of those countries. Nobody surely could object to French people speaking French in their own country or English people speaking English in England or the Welsh speaking Welsh in Wales. Still less can we imagine that such behaviour might be regarded as racist. The Arts Council of Wales and National Museum of Wales commissioned Welsh Arts Anti-Racist Union. There's a name to strike fear into one's heart. Um, to find out for them how they could get more ethnic minorities to have jobs in their organisations, only to be told when the report was prepared that the continual exclusion and disregard for black and non-black communities is not due to willful ignorance, it is due to a calculated and repetitive pattern. Harsh words indeed. The Arts Council and National Museum have also apparently consistently failed to address endemic, endemic racism in their distribution of funds and action is demanded to address this. It gets worse. Those two bodies are very keen on people speaking Welsh. Well, you can imagine it's Wales. They rather like to have people speaking Welsh. It's a big thing in Wales, still. And guess what? In some jobs they advertise, this is a requirement. So if you're working in the National Museum of Wales, you might have to speak Welsh. Hmm. Sounds reasonable to me and perhaps to most viewers. However, this is seemingly exclusionary. And the Welsh Arts Anti-Racist Union suggests relaxing the emphasis on having to speak Welsh if you want to work at the National Museum of Wales or get a job with its Arts Council. In other words, being expected to speak the language of the country in which you wish to live and work is part of what they describe in their report as systemic racism. Two things strike me about this. The first is that my family used to go to Wales often for holidays when the kids were small. And I certainly took an interest in the language. We went out of our way to try and learn a few words. And at one time, we were seriously considering learning Welsh systematically. If we had decided to settle in Wales, as was actually on the cards at one time, of course I would have to learn Welsh. And if I saw a job advertised at the National Museum of Wales, which required one to speak Welsh, then I would hardly see that as being exclusionary. The second point is that one cannot imagine anything like this happening anywhere else in the world but Britain. Can anybody seriously imagine a job being advertised in Saudi Arabia and somebody complaining that it was racist of them to expect the applicants to speak Arabic? Or a German company being called exclusionary because they wanted somebody who speaks German. As I say, I've seen nothing more bonkers than this so far this year, and the most depressing and predictable part of it all is that the Museum of Wales and Arts Council have both uncritically accepted in full this foolishness and promised to reform themselves. I give a link to an article on this from a Welsh newspaper in the description to this video.